Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and uh, now before we get into Gartha again, uh, first of all, um, you might hear me like kind of like a little sound a little tired. That's because I just got off of working a uh, graveyard shift, so and I'm on my way home. But um, now another thing, um, as you see on on, on my roll that I did in a recent video, I pulled um, I pulled Christopher Columbus. And, uh, well, I'm thinking, shoot, I might just NP, NP5 him before I complete the, complete the singularity. Well, now, let's get into it. Kind of in a hurry, because I'm kind of in a hurry to get home. I want to get some sleep. Anyway, each blossom shingle law. Let's see what we got. And we've got archers and casters. <coughs> Me at least two of the people I'm keeping on the on the list there. Uh, yeah, definitely not putting Suzuka there. Kind of debating what I want to do. Well, it might be a uh, wave, so I'm gonna put Lartordia there. She looks absolutely fucking hot in the new Jap Japanese uh, summer event as a ruler. Okay, so okay, let's let's get into it. Section nine, temporary retreat. <coughs> I hate to admit it. Just taking one step forward and two steps back. I'm afraid so. We may have succeeded in defeating Muzetian and bringing down the nightless city, but now the Amazons have taken over instead, right? Right. We're still not quite sure what happened, but the men we left behind have reported back. After the natural disaster, the big guy ended his rampage. He disappeared as usual. And now, the Amazons have taken over what's left of the city. I think we'll do better than, than, than to keep referring to as a natural disaster or big guy. I say it's time we came up with a proper name for him. He may have origins been Her Hercules. He says Her Hercules, but it's Hercules. But his spirit origins changed dramatically. His output, durability, and even divinity are all much higher than usual. The first thing that comes to mind is to call him giant Hercules. But since he once fought against the giants alongside the god Olympus, I don't, think he, I don't think he'd be particularly thrilled about that. How about Hercules, how about calling him Hercules Megalos, or meaning huge hero Hercules? We, we can even shorten it to just Megalos. I agree. I don't quite bring myself to refer to that servant as Hercules either. Megalos sounds like a good name to me. Anyway, after Megalos destroyed the city, and the Amazons came and took over the remains, what happened to Wu Zetian's subjects? I'm told they lost the world to fight and, me and meekly surrendered to the Amazons. Given how they reproduce, it's possible that they and the pirates are more like familiars than people. Which is, which is to say they were created by the respective rulers, and don't truly belong to this world. If that's true, it would make sense for them to simply submit to whatever ruler has a, has a control. Hmm. Submit, huh? I don't know if the Amazons were playing this, or if it were just luck. But either way, they have ended up swooping in, making off with everything. Pisses me the hell off. We'll make sure to sh we'll, we'll have to make sure to return the favor someday. Anyway, that aside. What's she doing here? Wasn't she the assassin's tactician? She just kind of tagged along. Or I couldn't just leave her. She kind of just tagged along. Indeed, she not be accompanying us after we all, after we all made our escape. Whoa! What is she doing? I, I know that pose. 
I've often seen Ben K doing that in front of the Ushiwakamo here in Calvea's hallways. A traditional Japanese foreign policy known as Dogeza. What are you playing at? I have heard this is the ultimate apology. One that originates from the land known as Japan. I understand that as this pose is performed with one's center entire body, it allows one to show absolute remorse when pleading for one's life. Pleading for your life? Yes. I I don't want to die. That is my only wish. You have defeated Wu Zetian, and so I'm surrendering to you. I believe that is the best option to ensure my survival. So please, I only ask that you spare my life. In return, I'll do anything you want. You sure should be sh you sure you should be throwing around forms like I'll do anything you want so casually? Because a certain wolf in chief calling may be looking to fleece your bodacious bot for himself. Why is everyone looking at me? Please stop looking at me like I'm some kind of a wild animal. The other, the other me might behave like that but sometimes, but I never would. At any rate, I can understand how she feels. It's only natural to want to die, especially for a woman who is the warrior. Castor does this. Castor, does this mean you want to be the resistance tactician now? I'm afraid that's all I can do. First, you work for Davin at ease. Then you betrayed her to go to Wu Zetian, and now you've come crawling to us, huh? I understand your reluctance to trust me. I don't blame you. But every tactician I've taken up to taken up to this point, but every action, I'm sorry, every action I've taken up to this point has stemmed from my desire not to not die. That desire holds true even now. So I beg you again not to kill me. Please, don't cast me out. I understand not wanting to die, but why would you be scared of getting kicked out? If I were forced to leave here, I would have no I had no choice but to go to the Amazons in El Dorado. Wait, I misspoke. I promise. I didn't mean it as a threat. Oh no, this is terrible. Now my death is all in assured. I have to repent. Sorry. Some people shake when they repent. If that was not a veiled threat to employ you as employ you, else you employ you else would you take your services to your to our enemy. Then that then what was it? I don't believe the Queen of El Dorado would have need of me. She would like she would very likely have me killed. So as I see it, I have three options. Either I die here, I am forced to leave the Amazons end up killing me, or I join you. As such I must do whatever I can to gain your trust. I don't know. That's not something easily gained. If my promise, if my promise serves as a tactician is insufficient, then I have nothing left to lose. As proof of my willingness to help, I will tell you my true name. Who? Oh? I am Shahrazad, a caster name only, whose sole talent lies in the spinning tails. Aha, uh, Shahrazad! Now you strange summoning act from before all makes sense. I've heard that name before, but... Even if you don't recognize her name, I bet you've at least heard the stories associated with her. Does 1001 Nights ring any bells for you? Or maybe the Arabian Nights? She's the meta character you deliver every one of those stories. The brave daughter of the chief vizier in the book. She tells the story each night. To stop a king from taking her life. Brave? No. There's nothing brave about it. I was just desperate to not die. I have read countless books and stories and acquired a fair amount of knowledge in this process. I believe that knowledge could be of use to you by helping to predict the enemy's next move, or to better assess the opportunities for you to take to make yours. Does that sound acceptable? Of course, if you have no need of such knowledge, and will kill me if I can't, can't count, demonstrate any other benefits of my conquer for continued presence, the only other thing I have to do offer is my body. I told you I'm not going to try anything. Please stop looking at me like that. What do you think, Senpai? 
I've never had too many allies. If that is your decision, Master, we have no objections. She may have been on our enemy's side thus far, but I can discern no falsehood in her words. Plus, she gave us advice about how to survive the whole escape the ramp rampaging mega berserker thing. If she'd wanted to hurt us, she'd just let's fight mega herc and go her go her splat. Thank you. You have my gratitude. That's more like it. Being scared is no good for your health. A show of positivity is better for everyone. That's how it should be for all women. And, well, that is... I don't mean to say women should be subservient to men. I just mean they should be free to themselves. Free to be themselves. If you're all okay with this, I guess there's no point in me being the lone voice of dissent. Besides, we do need all the help we can get. Oh, I still have to ask this. Are you sure this book knowledge of yours will actually be helpful? That's a very fair question. As soon as an opportunity to demonstrate my utility presents itself, I shall take it. And as luck would have it, it seems that time is now. The symptom picking up on the wind is, some, is the same as that discovered by Daniel Hassan, Hasib. In other words, the scent of a snake woman. Huh? Ryder, come quick! There's a peck of lamia after our pre after our peaches. Aha! Uh -huh, I see. I'll also help get rid of these pests. You've only demonstrated how I might be useful. But please, do keep in mind that I usually try to avoid combat as much as possible. After all, if you lose a battle, you also lose your life. And here we go with the light. This is not going so bad. So it's early for her to reveal her true name. And Shinjuku took a while for uh, Moriarty to reveal his. If, if I remember correctly. Of course, it's been a while since I did Shinjuku. <clears throat> ここだ。She does seem to know how to wield that weapon well.
清掃抜病いえ、まいますそれでは皆様、お手をかしちゃく最初に光を差しそうは空を差し、地を差し嵐の光をロンゴミリアドこうしゃくな強気ですねなそこだはい徹底的に両突撃あげっそー行儀の悪いこの辺りいじった方がいいんじゃないかこの辺りいじった方がいいんじゃないか Story, or are we back to story? Hmm. All right, Shahrazad. For the moment, I'll admit you that you make a good tactician. I love getting new allies. Still, I just have thought, and I realized something. Our ultimate goal here is to find the demon god pillar, keep right by hiding in a Gartha. Take it out, right? I mean, if we want to do something about this weird sort of singularity place and save everyone down here. That's exactly right. Our orders to defeat the demon god and destroy all of Agar. Even if we somehow manage to dig a tunnel and let all the men out here return to the surface, there will continue to be new victims until we manage to resolve the undying underlying cause. Yep, I get all that. And at first I couldn't figure out that the demon god pillar we had to kill was the Berserker of El Dorado. But then I thought, what if it's actually Megalos? That's a good point. It's definitely possible. His sign and strength is certainly far beyond the bounds of any normal servant. 
And if he is the pillar, he's going to be real hard to kill, right? And we all saw how scary he is in his murder mode back there. Speaking as a Celtic man, I like nothing more. For us, the stronger our opponent is, the better. There would be no honor in defeating a weakened Greek hero. But now that he is so incredibly powerful, defeating him would be bring us an unimaginable honor. Though, of course, I'm afraid I'm almost certainly not yet strong enough to actually do that. Now, hang on a minute. This demon god pillar thing has to be, to be at the center of El Dorado, right? There's no other sensible answer, is there? What do you mean? This demon god pillar is the one that made this place. The natural of this place would follow the rules as creator laid down. And the rules of this world are obvious. Men fall from the surface, and women use them as slaves to create more women. In other words, a god that's made for women is a world made for women. Sorry. In which case, the demon god pillar must be one of the few people trying to rule the world. There used to be the three possible candidates, but now there's only one. Dahut Uzetian and the Berserker of El Dorado. Their dispositions do seem very different from those of us who, had, who don't wish to be here. Which then begs the question of whether that is their true disposition or the demon god's influence. Either way, the, the process of elimination leaves us with only one remaining choice. Yes, that means we gotta take down the Berserker of El Dorado next. Oh, hey. So, since we've run into Lil Fergus, Captain Not Drake, and Mega Herc. Does that mean that every servant who disappeared from Chaldea ended up here after all? Beats me. Like I told you before, I've never met any of them, so I can't say which one, one way or the other. Nor can I. It could be that simply we have that we simply have yet to encounter them, or it could be that they have already been killed by either the Hoot, Uzetian, or the Berserker. What an awful thought! But truly, I really don't want to be killed. The mere thought of the thought of dying compels me to practice begging for my life. I suppose the safest thing to do now to, to do would be to polish my dogeza, since it works so well in many situations. Are you sure? Dogeza already looked perfect for me. Either way, there's no sense worrying about someone we don't even know is here. And since we can't count on Megalos for anything, the only ones we can count are the ones we who are here. Alright, tactician, this is your time to shine. How do we go going to find go about fighting El Dorado? Tell us what you've got in mind. Very well. This may be, this may be somewhat presumptuous to me, but my advice for your next trick step is Okay. So we got St. Quartz. True name revealed. Castle Nice City, true name, Shahrazad. Alf Leila Walela is the name of her noble phantasm. Is her profile of Shahrazad has been, has been, has been, has been, blocked. Has been, has been uh, altered, no, or whatever. Now we go to the Foothills Jungle, where we will be facing Lancers and Sabres. And I'm going to bring, be bringing Sabres, so, but that will be, again, That'll be the next video. Till then, Lord Jazz, thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.